what is up this is Rosie and I just wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about something that's been on my mind for a while now but I just chose not to say anything because I couldn't think of anything and this is impromptu as is so why is it that celebrities keep doing things to people thinking that they can get away with it just because they have money Everybody from Danny Masterson to Russell Brand to friggin' Lizzo, even as far as internet personalities like the Illuminati, um, and things with her, by the way, keep getting worse and worse. The more that comes out about her, the worse it gets. So, with Danny Masterson, he was sentenced to 30 years. And I can't help but wonder why did he think he would just continue to get away with the things that he did to people? I just don't understand it. You can't keep treating people like your personal, you know, mats for doing things on and think that they're just gonna let you continue to walk around and hurt more people. I don't care about the fact that he's married and has a child. He did this to himself. I'm sorry that his wife broke down in tears when she heard his sentencing, and I'm sorry that his daughter has to grow up without her dad. But the fact that he has a daughter still didn't make him stop to think, what if somebody did this to my little girl? And the fact that you can do that to a bunch of women and not see images of your child in them when they cry and say that you did them wrong that what kind of sickness is that that you can just continually separate your yourself and people in your life from the people that you hurt people like Chris D'Elia I was trying to forget about the things that he did even though it was always in the back of my mind and then I saw this documentary on YouTube and it was like he was trying to form a cult and he kept saying that he wanted a cult and then I saw that these girls were getting C D his initials tattooed on their neck in little heart shapes and he has a child and he has a wife and that just grosses me out and I once again cannot help but think why can you not see images of your children and the people that you hurt and he just kept having these girls not women but young girls like 14 15 16 maybe 17 coming out against him saying that he did things and he would just come out I'm sorry I didn't know yes you did no you you knew and why do they keep thinking that they can get away with it it is just ever since the Me Too movement with Harvey Weinstein it's like why do you do these things and think that they're not gonna tell on you why do you think they're not not gonna come to the media um it, it just boggles my mind. Russell Brand has more than one girl saying that he did things. And he's trying to say that it's a conspiracy against him? Really? And then you've got Andrew Tate. And, um, and that other dude, I forgot his name, and thankfully so, because when you turn from Twitter to X I don't want to remember your name anyway so you have them defending you to the media and that makes you look even worse and it has nothing to do with a conspiracy it has everything to do with the fact that you did these people wrong you hurt them and it's time for you to pay you need to be called out even if it just goes only as far as you being destroyed in the media and losing your fan base so be it and um, I just 
ugh, Lizzo wanting to countersue the dancers that came out against her, trying to make them look like, well, they were fired, so now they're just mad at me. No, 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 you've had controversy after controversy over the years that people have just let slide and they let it go by them and ignored it. This cannot be ignored, Lizzo. You did these things and you know you did. And if you lose your fan base because of what you did and you're proven to be guilty, hey, all the better because you can't just hurt people and treat them as your stepping stones and then threaten to hurt them and call it even and call it fine and call it fair. You can't do that just because you're big now and I'm not, you know, just because you're famous now, I'll put it that way. That's what I meant. So please don't take my wording for the way it sounded. But just because you're famous now and at first I was saying, you know, she would do Prince so proud because she's so talented and who can bring a flute to pop and make it sound good and she did that. I was so proud of Lizzo and then these allegations came out and all my support for her just went out the window. Every time I saw her, I was like, she's so pretty, she's so beautiful and I love how she's using her size and making it, you know, making people realize that being big isn't so bad, but it is, it's unhealthy. I'm not gonna get on here and do this whole, I have a whole video on that, but, but she was still pretty to me. She was still very pretty to me. And I was still supportive of her. And I'm not anymore. And with the Illuminati, um, for those of you who don't know, I did a video on her. I'm not sure if I made that private or not. I probably did because I heard that that she comes out and if she sees a video on her, she'll copyright claim it or whatever. I don't know, but or she'll, she'll send a cease and desist. And for what? Because isn't the, I mean, isn't it in the Constitution that we have freedom of speech? So, whatever. Anyway, I've heard things about her and I don't like it. And um, Oz Media came out and he said what he had to say because she's trying to make him look bad and it only makes her look worse. And I cannot believe the amount of people coming out in defense of her. Like, she has nothing to defend. She is nothing to defend. Trying to make it sound like he was so mean and vindictive and heartbroken because she broke up with him. No, bitch. You tried to ruin his life and now you're trying to make him homeless just before Christmas. That's what's going on that's what you're trying to do because your credit was bad you made him make all of these horrible financial decisions at his tender young age when you're like eight years older than he is and you take advantage of these men who are younger than you and you make them do things for you and you make them pawns in your little game and when you can't use them anymore when you have depleted them of all their resources and all of their emotional well-being and all of their mental health and all of their money then you throw them away until you can use somebody else and you're disgusting for it and that's what I have to say about that and I'm not taking it back and I'm not privating this video. So with that, you guys, I'm going to go. Oh, and with what I said about her, it's allegedly. For legal reasons, of course. Allegedly. But anyways, with that, I'm going to go. You guys, as usual, there is a donations link in the description. If you would hit that, support me and support my channel. It would help me out a lot. And I thank you in advance. Thank you so much for wasting time with me. I hope that you like, share, subscribe, and comment. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And um, thank you for wasting time with me. I love you guys very, very much. Hope to see y'all on the next upload. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.